So we have Young and Dundas Square. This is in the heart of Toronto, and it is basically Toronto's answer to New York's Times Square. This is where visitors and residents of Toronto gather to enjoy multicultural festivals and concerts, as well as you've got street performers. It's like pretty much where the action is and anybody wants to go there. It's fun. Um, they have free concerts on Fridays during the summer months and it's just a good time. And as I said, it's right in the heart of the city. Well, they're undergoing a name change. And the name, the new name is going to be Sankofa Square. This is derives from Ghana and it represents the reflection on teachings of the past in order to move forward together. So the reason why they're changing this name is because the name Dundas is named after a Scottish politician by the name of Henry Dundas. And he's also known as the Great Tyrant. Henry Dundas was responsible for delaying the abolishment of slavery in the British Empire for 15 years. And as a result of that, that caused over 630,000 slaves to have to wait a decade for freedom. So with everything that's been going on in the world um, and for the sake of diversity and equity and all of those other good stuff, they have elected to change the name and they felt like Sankofa was very befitting of the messaging that they want to portray. This has caused public outcry. The vice chair and chair of the council both resigned they feel as though there wasn't enough public and board consultation before this decision was made. Um, our Toronto um, Premier, Doug Ford, is also saying that the costs, which cost $1.1 million to change the name from Dundas Square to Sankofa Square, and they are also planning on changing two of the subways that are also named after Dundas. We have Young and Dundas Subway, and then we have Dundas West Subway. And both of those are being changed also. That's going to cost $1.6 million. And this is of taxpayers' money, apparently. So Doug Ford is saying, what about the homeless crisis? Well, where was that energy when we had asylum seekers that are sleeping on the streets, still sleeping on the streets, still coming in and having nowhere to sleep? Where was that energy? What about the $9 billion that, you know, our, our prime minister is uh, donating to Putin's war, giving over to the Ukraine? Why can't we allocate those funds to the housing crisis? Now that we're changing this name, uh, it's become a lot of backlash. And there's basically a spat going on about the name change. How about we take that 1.1 million or 1.6 million and pay reparations for the slaves? And if we're going to talk about just Canada, over 4,000 slaves, while it's nice that the name has been changed and they want to put this messaging out, that's wonderful. How about we pay reparations for everything that they went through? Because frankly, Sankofa, I'm a Ghanaian, proud of that name, but... To me, that's just optics to say, hey, look, look at what we're doing. We are so for our people and the culture, and we want to send the message that we are all for diversity. And so we're going to change this name and you have this wonderful sign. But in the grand scheme of things, what about actually the reason you're changing the name, the person that you're changing the name from to? And the reason behind that, and how about, again, I say reparations. So are we going to get a check? Are you going to cut a check for all of the slaves? Let me know what you all think about this. Drop your comments in the chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also download the African Diaspora News app. You can get it on the Google Store or the Apple Store, and you'll get not only the content that you're seeing here on YouTube, but you'll also get content that you will not see here on YouTube. So it's a win-win. Get that app and subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. 
Until next time, please be safe, everyone. Peace be.